Okay, Sisters fans, so yesterday there was an article from TV Line, and remember, with Sisters coming back next week, uh, we're going to get our weekly TV Line interviews with different cast members, and I can't wait for that. It really does give you that little peek behind the scenes we all want when it comes to this amazing show. As always, I will you know, leave a link to this article in the comment section below so you can check it out for yourself, but we will go through this thing top to bottom in this video so like and subscribe hit that bell icon and select all because look 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 subscribe for real the show's coming back and i don't want you to miss out when i post content because next week it's going to get crazy around here sister 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 let's go chris warren aka hayden <laughs> he teases his character being more hateful in season 4b when he started out portraying the character back in early season two, um, the character was a lot like Zeke, the teen the actor played in High School Musical. But as time went on, Hayden became more and more sinister as he plotted against Zack and Fatima. Chris says he's been loving every minute of the character's wickedness. He adds that the attorney is going to get a lot worse when the show returns the next week. It makes me really happy that Hayden is the most hated man on Sisters. It's either him or Gary. Um, it, it's a toss up. I think more. I think more people are just sick of Gary because he's been around for far longer, and Hayden is more hated because he's messing up the most popular couple. That's why I think. So, I think that uh, Hayden is the most hated character or the most hated male on the show but if you put in character it's probably karen all right so chris says that means i'm doing something right in the beginning it really wasn't like that hayden was a flirty guy he and uh, fatima had some history and they just worked together and hayden was going to help her out uh, remember this was to help gary get out of jail back in season two I really didn't see the villain thing happening. It happened very quickly and I'm happy about it. This is the first time I've gotten to play someone that's so grimy. It's been fun getting to play somebody like that and being hated by so many people. It's just been nice. Uh, let's see here. No spoilers about what's coming up in the show, but it's not going to be pretty. Hayden is going to take things to the next level. If he was taking things far before wait for him to take things much further he just wants to win at all costs even if that means he has to go even if that means he has to win against Fatima, zach or rob and it doesn't matter it's all about his ego he's got to win no matter what in that way hayden and gary are a lot alike yeah i agree with that because you know gary is a win by any means necessary when it comes to andy all right hey oh okay chris even says this Hayden is even more hated than Gary, but they both have a belief that they can't lose. That's why people hate them. They're both very petty and built from the same ego-driven kind of stock. That's what's so great about the way Tyler writes these characters. At the end of the day, Hayden and Gary are hated for a reason. Fan hatred for the character is so strong. Fans cheered for his perceived death, death at the end of Season 3. And one Twitter user even used a funeral program mocking his demise. I remember that. That was funny. It's a level of disdain that makes the, uh, Chris proud. Chris goes on to say to round out the rest of the article. It helps that I've never had a Twitter account. I chuckle when I see the screenshots, the funny memes, but not being on Twitter helps. So hopefully that means you've seen some of my stuff. I tagged him on, on Instagram because I made some memes and videos. Honestly, because he's so vile, I take it as a compliment because I make it hard to like him. If I'm doing my job correctly, that means you should really, really hate Hayden. I'm happy about it. I don't have a mustache to twirl, so I work my eyebrows. <laughs> Once I get in front of that camera as a character, all sorts of things start happening. It's all a part of his effect, and it is part of what people hate about him. I make his face very punchable. That is true. So, Chris... Kudos to you. You you do your job well. A bit too well, but you do it well. So uh yeah, um look forward to Hayden causing more shit in the back half of season four B. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and uh I'll talk to you all in the next video.